Hi guys, I'm joining you from the sofa. I'm in my gym gear because um, I've been doing a little bit of movement and I'm hoping to do some, I'm well, not hoping, I'm definitely doing some weights um, a bit later on. But I just wanted to tell you about some of the things that I've used to relax this weekend. I've had quite an intense weekend. Um, I have quite an intense life. <laughs> But yeah, so um, I have to unwind because otherwise um, I don't have any space for myself. So I wanted to show you a couple of things. So the first thing is my calligraphy. So I've been doing it this weekend and I've got a script. So when you do calligraphy, what you do is you can either design your own script or you can take someone else's. So in this case, I've taken one called Brahmin because um, I really love this style. And so I did that. And then if you've been in the PTSD awareness group, then you'll see that I posted a picture of a flower and or like a little group of like pink flowers and they were really intense. So I wanted to create that colour. And basically what I've decided to do so this is like a pinky colour. Um, what's it called? It's scarlet. That one, scarlet. And I decided, because I don't have the exact colour of the flower, I've done my upstrokes in pink. And I'm either going to do my downstrokes in plum or I'm going to use a blue. But it's because I just couldn't, I, I didn't have a colour which was exact to this, the flower that I posted. So instead I thought I'd try and get the vibe of it. And it's got like this kind of fuchsia color. So I, I thought, you know, so I'm gonna decide what to blend it. So I'll decide what the downstrokes will be. And then I'll show you what I did. I'll show you the result. Okay. Um, and for anyone who enjoys doing calligraphy, So I've got my pencil case here. Um, and basically, I quite like just using, I've got, so I've got no bleak pen holder, um, but I actually quite like using the straight holder. Um, and then I use a Nico G. Nico G. Uh, no. Okay, so, uh, so yeah, so this actually really, you get so, so you kind of, um, it draws you in just looking at the ink and obviously you have to look at where the upstrokes and downstrokes are and it can be quite challenging as well because I've used the template a few times, so it's covered in ink. So it's something that takes consideration and I put on a podcast and I just sat there and I did what I was doing and it was very relaxing. Um, it was also a way of expressing myself because I said that I wanted to do some calligraphy and I was excited to be using like pinks and scarlets and different types of, you know, purple. And I have been able to do that. It was very fun. And then here's another thing that I do. So I love painting. That's my palette. So I mix my colors on here. And I like to take my paint, like my, so I've got a doodle book. And I like to take it to the next level. So for example, um, I do, I, you know, I'll paint find one, here's one, uh, and I will actually paint it. So these are done in acrylics, inks, uh, let's find one. Yeah, this one's done in the acrylic gold. Um, yeah, so, and you can be really colorful and bright because this is my book, so I can do what I like. I think that's it really. Um, you know, you can add so much detail and colour. And um, 
I think what's really great about picking up a book like this is this is where you start. So it gives you the it gives you somewhere to start. It gives you, you know, things. To, I'll just show you this one because it's got black cat. Black cats are my favorite. Um, but yeah, it's like it's a really great place to start painting and this moon because it's the night time, so that's relevant. Um, but yeah, this is a really good place to find your inspiration, to remind yourself what it's like to use inks again and paint brushes, or you I mean you can do pencil. I did one in pencil, but I think I drew over it in I went over it in ink. It's also a good place. Oh, here's one. So I've put a sticker embellishment on there. So you can add to it as well. And it's just a way of kind of sinking into it, finding your inspiration with your colours, your paints. And then you can think about maybe doing something on your own, you know, drawing your own thing. So that's where I like to start. And then I don't have an example of something I've drawn lately. I think I was doing the calligraphy. So. <laughs> but, um, you know, that's just a really amazing outlet. And personally, I love playing with colours. So you have absolute freedom. It's not like you have to look at the book and say, okay, the fish must be orange, the whale must be grey, blue. I mean, there's no colour scheme. It's totally up to you. Um, I think what's nice about that as well is that the artist has doodled. So it's something that you can actually go away and do yourself. So sometimes I like to use fine liners as well. Um, you know, just doing little, little details. There we go. All right. The last thing I'm going to show you is something I haven't opened yet. So yeah, so basically, this is a make your own diamond picture. And let's see what's inside. I want to start doing this. So there's my picture. I'm going to be doing a peacock because I thought sparkly peacock would be good. So it's got all these letters on it. So the J's are a certain blue, the K's are a darker blue. How else do we get? Okay, so we've got a little tray here and we've got this uh, little, it looks like a biro. It's a device for picking up all of the, uh, the little uh, gemstone y things. What do they call them on here? Okay, so this is a lump of wax. So you press the pen into the wax and then you pick up the gems with the pen, with the sticky bit. Then you peel back the clear cover. Okay, so there's a cover on the back of each diamond and then you stick it onto the picture. So by the end, this will literally be covered in, they look like rhinestones. Oh gosh, guys, it's so up my street. I love all this. Oh, there's light blue, like there's turquoise, that you can't really see, um, but there's turquoise, there's green, there's a lighter, there's like a, in, not quite indigo, but a purpley blue. There's a middle range, like a middle colour blue. Oh, see, so... You know, I love playing with like little gemstones and stickers and things like that. So I know I'm going to enjoy this. This is one of those things that you, you don't get around to it for ages. And then you actually just make 20 minutes and you can get going and you're like, wow, I'm really up for this. So I'm going to have to show you guys when I've actually put this together, show you my peacock. But anyway. <laughs> Anyway, um, that's my recommendation if you're an art, artistic type of person, but you've kind of uh, got out of your rhythm with it. And if you're not an artistic person as well, if you don't consider yourself artistic, everyone has an artistic streak. Um, so, you know, it's just about what best suits you. I mean, I do a lot of design on the computer. So you might not be someone that picks up a pen or, or a paintbrush, but you might be someone that loves dealing with graphics and you love, 
uh, design. So I absolutely love going online, using all these different pieces of like design software and creating adverts and creating messages and all sorts of stuff. So there really is an outlet in terms of art for everyone. And this was, you know, a nice thing to do, an enjoyable thing to do with my time. Just listen to a podcast, do a bit of like calligraphy. And yeah, it helped me relax and take my mind off of a few things. So amazing. All right, well, good luck with your art projects. And um, yeah. Let me know how they go. I'd love it, actually, if people sent me pictures of their artworks. So if you're in PTSD Our Place, the Facebook group, definitely post your art there. I'll post mine too. This will be so much fun. All right, then. Speak to you soon.